Hey guys, thanks for checking this video out. This song is relatively straightforward, but there's still a couple interesting things to take note of, so I thought I'd just slow down a couple of the main grooves and give a couple comments on those. Hope it helps you out if you're trying to learn this song. The key thing to notice about the intro is that there is a snare flam on the backbeat, which is on count number two as well as count number four. So whenever you play a flam, you're using both your hands. When you're using both your hands, it's very hard to move from one surface to whichever surface you're doing the flam on really quickly. So a trick here is to play the bass drum note on that 16th note right in front of the snare. So you see the pattern is like right, left, right, kick, flam. And that really helps you to move faster to the snare because your left hand does not have to do anything in that 1 16th note before it plays the flam. Hope that makes sense, and you realize that's a very useful trick whenever you want to use a flam. In the playthrough, you'll notice I also played 8th notes with my left foot on the hi-hats during the intro, but that's icing on the cake, just make sure you get the main parts down first. The second intro is where the rest of the band starts playing, the music kind of gets a bit louder, and the beat that the drums are playing is extremely similar to the chorus, so I've just put them next to each other, although the verse actually does come in between first. The hi-hat and snare parts are exactly the same for both, only the bass drum is a bit different. In that second intro part, the kick is playing a 4 on the floor, straight downbeats, 1, 2, 3, 4 pattern, whereas in the chorus, it's more of a rock groove with one kick note on beat 1 and two kick notes on 3N. I've notated the open hi-hat as just being open for two counts on 1E, but that doesn't mean that you only open it for 1E and then close it immediately. This can sound pretty strange. In fact, if you're just getting started and your left foot doesn't have that much control yet, you don't even really need to open the hi-hat. So let me just show you what I mean. If I lock the hi-hats and I just hit a little bit harder on 1 and 3, it actually sounds pretty alright as well. That's because your hi-hats are two surfaces next to each other like this, and when you hit them a little harder, you're just going to bash into each other more, and it gives you more of the open hi-hat sound. Whereas if you're playing lightly on the top hat, it's not going to hit the bottom one as much, and then you don't get the sound of the two hats. Um, and then you don't get the sound of the two hats. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> This verse used to trip me up when I first learned this song, especially if your drum set is in the kind of conventional setup where you have the snare, tom 1 right on top of the snare, and the mid tom in this awkward zone above your floor tom. If you look at my setup, I have both of my toms slightly to the left because I try and make things a little more symmetrical, and also that mid tom in that position is such a pain to reach. So whenever I play this part on a drum set with that configuration, I'm really staring at the middle of the mid tom to make sure I don't miss that hit and I don't hit the rims. The importance of accuracy cannot be overstated. It can be a simple part, but if you play it accurately, it's going to sound so much better than if you did something complicated and really messy. So make sure you aim at the center of the drum and don't hit the rims. For this guitar interlude, I'm actually playing 8th note accents on the crash, which means I'm playing louder on 1, 2, 3, 4 and softer on all the ends, the upbeats. But if you find that difficult to do, you can also just play quarter notes on all the downbeats, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is how it would sound like. Just make sure that you don't end up accenting all of the 8th notes because it'll sound a little bit overkill, kind of like this. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, that's all the groove sections for this song. Hope you learned something, keep drumming, and I'll see you next time.